um, I just wanted to welcome you back to my channel um, and thank the subscribers that have been sticking with me. I have not posted in a while um, and I plan for this school year to throw out some more lesson ideas um, and some more classroom management ideas and skills that you can use in the classroom. Um, I'm hoping to have a lot of elementary lessons um, to throw out there too um, for some ideas. And like I said, last school year um, was hard for everyone. Uh, that's parents, students, um, and teachers. So I'm wishing everyone that this video is gonna transition to just talking about boards um, and how to put to a board together for your classroom because it's all about decorating your classroom. I know a lot of you teachers are starting to put your classrooms together. Um, and those of you that are already finished putting your classrooms together, um, you can still add some of this um, advice that I'm gonna um, throw out in this video. So I'm going to talk about borders. Um, there's also letters that you can buy at the stores um, and I'll put some links down at the bottom. Um, I'll post some stores that you can buy these items at. Sometimes it's hard for teachers to find these things when they're putting their classrooms together. So borders add a really nice touch to your boards in your classroom and then lettering um, just makes your room come alive a little bit throw some color in there your room should kind of show your personality as an educator um, and definitely if you're teaching elementary then it'll be bright colors uh, warm colors um, it should be extremely inviting for your students always um, middle school I'm gonna come back to middle school high school you're gonna have a really formal look you might frame a lot of your photos that you're hanging on the wall or pictures or paintings for high school, if you're running a high school classroom, um, an art class, then you may want to even place your own artwork in your room um, on the wall, um, just to inspire your students. Bringing it down to middle school, you're gonna have it in between an elementary and a high school classroom for decorating. So for middle school you are going to have those bright colors but you're also going to have some of those formal elements that you would put into a high school classroom as well um so i am going to show you guys some ideas um as you see the letters they're they're in the back here um and they come in all fancy metallic colors and bright colors shiny um so you can have a lot of fun with those I'm going to have this video basically transition to me showing you um, some boards in my room um, and how you can kind of put it together. So I will have this transition to a vocabulary word wall. Sorry. Hey guys, like I said, I'm going to show you um, one of my boards. Um, basically, these are the borders. You can staple them into the board. Um, you can buy these in all different colors and um, metallic colors and really make your boards really fun to look at. This is a vocabulary board. Um, like I said, this video is for any educators. It's not just art teachers. Um, so this um, advice is for anyone running a classroom. Um, and then you can basically mat your words and vocabulary words onto construction paper. And then you can put a nice title just right up here, and then have your words come out. And have them fall, have it playful, kind of to look at. So you're always looking at the display. So just a little bit of um, advice I want to throw you guys uh, for the school year.